Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So if you remember a while back, I did a video where I milled a heat exchanger plate. It was an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick plate. I did it over on the planer mill. And I had a lot of comments about that, about how I did it, how I don't know what I'm doing, how I'm a terrible machinist. And quite honestly, I did such a horrible job on it that they sent me another one to do. But this time, instead of doing it on the planer, we're going to do it differently. We're going to do it on the horizontal boring mill with the angle plates that I just milled up in last week's video and the big face mill. And we're going to make quick work of this. So the reason I chose to do it in the planer last time instead of doing it on the boring mill in the first place is because I had a repeat job set up here of machining those parts for the robotic welder that you saw in a video a few weeks back. So. With that, let's get this thing set up on the boring mill with our new milled angle plates and get to work. Alright, so setup on this is actually going to be quite straightforward, pretty easy. Um, there are these 5 ace drilled and tapped holes here. We'll put our threaded rods in there and just clamp it to our angle plates using those. And they're on both ends, so that'll work out really well. And once we get it clamped to the angle plate at the where I want it, then I'll go ahead and I'll affix the angle plates to the table, indicate everything, get it all true, and then we'll start the milling. All right, so now that I got it up here where I can see the backside or what was the bottom when I had it on the cart there, it's filthy. We're just gonna spray her down with a little brake cleaner and wipe her down clean so we don't have any debris um, holding us out on our angle plates. We want this right to the angle plate as best as we can get it. All right, I got it up there, just got it indicated in, but I'm gonna walk you through the whole setup. Um, first off, we'll talk about the plate lifter. Uh, this is actually for this exact purpose. It's got a hard jaw here that bites into the plate and then the movable jaw. And that is just for lifting plates. I've got several different sizes of them. I use them all, they're very handy. Um, so we got the plate up here with that. On our nicely milled angle plates, um, I got it sitting up on one, two, three blocks, and on the boring mill, one, two, three, and two, four, six blocks are your friend. Um, they get used a lot. So I got it up there just to get it up off the table so we don't have a, you know, run the risk of hitting the table with the mill. And then on the back side, I've got one clamp here on the top, on the outside, and one on the inside on each angle plate. So I'm hoping that'll do it. Now, when I milled the last one, I put it up on one, two, three blocks, laying flat on the table like this with one, two, three blocks, and I got ridiculed for that because why didn't I put it flat to the table? Well, these plates do have a little bow to them, but they also have the data tag that I was told I can't remove. So they had to sit up on, on the one, two, three blocks to get them up off the table. Uh, that was the best way to do it. Um, like I said, this mill was set up with another job so I couldn't, couldn't do it on here like I wanted. And then I'm just gonna use a bolt in the posing corners and that should take care of holding it down. So let's get indicating. All right, well anyway, she's all set up. I decided to add another clamp in each one of those spots. So I've got two clamps on each side on each one. So I've got eight clamps in total 
um, and that did pull it in a little bit more. So that's a good thing. So now we'll go ahead and we'll get this indicated. Um, biggest thing, I know this is gonna have some bow to it and stuff, so we'll indicate in one spot and then go over and check it in another and just even it out. Just probably, in fact, you know what? We'll just come right off of our angle plates. We'll indicate, indicate, and get them the same, bolt them down, double check, and then start the milling. I got it as close as I can possibly get it. It's never gonna be perfect because from the years of them torquing it down to pull the plates together, they do get a little bow to them. So they, it's never gonna be perfect, but I am within four thousandths end to end. Um, I didn't check it this way, but I mean, it's up against my angle plates. It should be good. Um, but we'll start with taking about 50 thou off and see what it looks like. in the center of the plate but I think when I do the last pass I'll take a lighter cut and that'll probably go away but boy that's cleaning up nice I'm actually surprised all that smoke you see is the rust and the paint burning off
cleaning up nice. blue fuzzies you're seeing is the paint and uh, we're taking that right off and, and the top layer and it's uh, it's really coming out nice but we'll have a little more to mill off take a look at what we got here really nice out here where the angle plate was but then we started getting some chatter in here in the middle but not so much down at the bottom which is interesting and then nice again out where this angle plate is so we need a little more support in the middle but unfortunately I don't have anything um, God, I wonder if I just put a one of my shorter angle plates in there and just butt it up but we have no way to clamp to it so I think on my last pass, I'll just take 10 thousandths and that'll cure that. And it looks to me, we got some deep spots yet, but I'd almost say another 30 thousandths will clean this up enough, enough to go back into service. So I think what we'll do is we'll take another 25, see what it looks like, and then determine if we got to take another 10 or another, another five. But overall, that's really cleaning up nice, especially where it's got good support. I mean
Alright, she's really chattering on me in the middle there. I think my last pass will slow down the spindle speed. Um, and then uh, try to get that out of there and clean that up. I think slower speed will probably do it. get in towards that upright, that vertical support, she calms right down. Yeah, we'll just try a lower spindle speed and, uh, lower spindle speed and, uh, just see if it does it. I've got my foot up against it right now, trying to calm that that vibration, and it's not helping. So, like I said I think a slower spindle speed, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll take care of it. Light cut, light depth of cut, and a slower spindle speed. It's not. It's actually quite smooth. A little, little bit of roughness right in here, but God, that's really not that rough at all. Uh, except I'm going to take another. God, I'm going to take another five. I'm going to slow that spindle speed down. All right. I went from 220 RPM down to 120. All right, so we're going to take about. We're going to take about five thousandths. And just see what she does. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to slow it down even more. So I'm down to about 45 RPM. Um, I upped my feed rate though. With this cutter, I can do that pretty good. I'm up to 71 thou revolution and uh, 74 thou revolution. And it's cutting good. I'm 
I don't feel hardly any vibration out here. We'll see what it looks like after the first pass. Like I said, I'm only taking 10 thousandths right now, so I'm not taking much. And we can definitely uh, take more if we need to. to the middle of the plate now and I feel almost zero vibration here so I think I think we'll have her uh, but we'll see after this first pass looks beautiful it's coming up nice I got one pass left up here and I'm definitely gonna clean it up I can feel the difference there so yeah this will this will finish her off absolutely beautiful take a look at what we got here now feel why that is smooth that is very smooth that this thing's done this can go I'll deburr all the edges and this can go back to the customer
Why did that come out nice? I can't complain about that finish one bit. And that'll seal, that'll seal back up on this plate exchanger. A little bit of roughness there, it got a little deep on that initial pass, but that's in the middle of the exchanger, that isn't gonna hurt anything because the gasket runs along the outer edge um, and then there's another gasket in the middle. Um, but we got the most important parts, that, that's perfect. I can't complain about that. Well, all in all, that went really well. Um, I did have some more vibration up at the top here. And when it was vibrating, I'd put my hand on the triangle back here and that would stop it. So that tells me I need to add a stiffener bar along this spine um, just to get rid of that vibration. And then we'll probably have to mill this again. So that'll be another video coming up. Uh, but I have about five or six jobs to do on the boring mill that I need to film at least half of them for you guys. A uh, we'll, couple of steam engine jobs. Um, just, I can't even think of all the stuff I'm doing. There's a lot of stuff coming up. So that stuff takes priority over fixing this. We'll do, fix that at some point. Um, the finish on this plate was incredible. I cannot believe how well this came out. Um, it just absolutely beautiful. It's a better finish than I got off the planer. Now, all in all, Comparison between doing it on the planer with the Bridgeport head versus the boring mill. If I fix those angle plates, I could speed this process up. I would have a better surface finish and it would just be a, a so much easier job on the boring mill. Even though I still have that little bit of vibration, the surface finish is, is nearly perfect. I mean, it's absolutely smooth. There's no ridges that I can feel. Um, it came out great. Time-wise, because we had that little bit of vibration, I had to slow it down. The planer is faster, the planer mill. So I'd like to try this again at some point with an actual planer though. I'm curious how that would come out. So I doubt I'll get to do that ever, but uh, it'd sure be interesting to see. So with that, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.